Do you have a tree line blocking your hemisphere's pole? Or what about a neighbor's house? Or a big hill? Or one of those pesky clouds? Do you have an ASI air? Now the good news is, is you can still polar align when you can't see your respective pole using the ASI air's all sky polar align. Now the old system frequently used by both the air and other systems required you to be able to visibly see your pole. Now this presented a problem for people that say lived in an apartment complex where say the north or south pole was blocked by them. Now the downside to this is if you were living in a place where your pole was being blocked, you would have to either try travel or go around to the other side of the building. But all in all, what this meant was that it could limit what objects people could get based on their surroundings. Now with the new system, it works kind of like the Sin Scan or the Celestron Star Sense where there's a three star align, but the plate solve does help you get accurately aligned. It uses a couple different spots in the sky to figure out where you're at, and then it helps you get polar aligned. Before we go over how to polar align, I just want to let you guys know that I did just create a Patreon. I've been getting questions about how I could be supported and I decided that Patreon would be a good way. The reason that I chose Patreon over doing a YouTube membership was just to get off of YouTube just in case something happened. Now the way I have it set up is that the basic tier is just a simple thank you and everybody that contributes will have their name and credits in future videos. Now the second tier is you get access to my stacked images that are unprocessed just for you to practice for five dollars a month we'll do group calls where we can help you figure out a problem there's also another tier where we get away from the group calls and go into one-on-one -on -one calls and then there's a tier where you'll end up getting a print signed by me for the second tier and on up everybody has sp access to a special channel on my discord server now my discord server is free but patreon members you get your own special channel so that way you have a place to talk to me where it's a little bit quieter. Now I'm only mentioning it. You don't have to join if you don't want to. It is purely your call. If you do join, thank you so much. If not, hey, I get it. Anyway, let's show you how to get polar alignment. To actually do the polar alignment, go ahead into the app and we want to tap on the eye icon there so it brings up about. In there, we see the slider there for all sky polar align. We want to make sure that that is on. Okay, the next step is to go back out and just generally make sure that your telescope is focused or at least really close. The last thing is as you are setting up, make sure that your mount is pointed at, towards your respective pole as close as you can get it. Now, if it's blocked because of a building or something, go ahead and use something like a compass, whether it is a real compass or an app on your phone. Now, go ahead and slew the telescope to any spot in the sky that you can see. But beware of these couple things. When you slew it, don't point it either directly east or west. And the reason being is that you'll hit the horizon on both ends, but as it does the first couple of movements for plate solving, it goes to the west. So if you're leaning a little bit heavier on the west, you're gonna to wanna to leave some room for it to move. Okay, and since it slews west when it's doing the polar alignment, make sure that it's not gonna hit your tripod or your pier if you're pointing it east. So long story short, as long as you have it pointed somewhat up like I do here, which is more west with a little bit of south in it, then you're probably fine. And then from there, you go into polar alignment in the app. And you'll see here, it'll give you a couple of those uh, warnings that I just mentioned. Now, once you're ready, just go ahead and hit play. And it'll go ahead and take an image. And then it's gonna rotate just a little bit. Takes another image. Rotates a little bit more. And then from here, you'll get the graph and then you go through polar alignment just as you would have before. Now, real quick, let's get into a couple problems that you might be experiencing when you do the all sky polar line. And the first one will be, instead of doing the three increments when it slews, it just does one big one. If that's the case, you still have it on the old polar alignment. And if you still have it on the old polar alignment, go ahead and stop it, put your telescope back to where it was, and then go back into the setting to turn on all sky polar align. Another problem you might be running into is assuming that the telescope is in focus, if the plate solve fails, that means your telescope is way too far off for the polar alignment to be successful. What you'll have to do is just recenter, make sure you're aiming the mount at your pole, 
and then try again. All right, and when you re-aim your pole, make sure that you have your latitude set correctly as well. So if you're at 30 degrees, either north or south, or 50 degrees, whatever the case is, make sure on your mount, you have the latitude set to that. Now, the other thing to note is that it is still very touchy, just like doing the old style polar alignment. So when you start getting it dialed in pretty close, you're still gonna have to make some very tiny adjustments because even the slightest millimeter sized adjustment will make that dot move around pretty far. All right, once you have everything dialed in, you're gonna get some great guiding numbers. If you take a look at this screen recording, this is the guiding that I had while running the Duo with using all sky polar alignment last night. If you found this video helpful, please do like, comment, and then maybe consider subscribing. I want to thank you for watching. Clear skies.